Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be decorating our April sisters. I've actually been really excited and inspired to do this for a really long time, so I'm very happy to finally get going with this project. We will be putting April sisters right here. I know, very cinematic reveal. Yes, this is a very small area, and no, I didn't really understand the dimensions of this until later, but honestly, does it even matter if I have a large space or not? Even if I didn't have the moon and the stars to work with, which I don't, I will still find a way to cram as much as I possibly can in here. There's also a bit of pressure on this build. Do you recall that we made this little lookout a while ago? Well, we did, and now because of it, it's even more important to make Able Sisters look good. So I better get to work. Work, Emily, work. No spinning. Work. Before I could decorate Abel's, there actually, you know, needs to be an Abel's there. So I asked Mabel if it was okay to finally get her off that cramped beach she's been sitting on since the shop disappeared in the Main Street video. Um... Well, she said yes, so I quickly placed nope, placed it right on top of my marker tiles, and at the same time, put this incline down that I've been meaning to place for a little while now. A quick time travel, and yep, everything looks fine. Everything looks fine from up here as well, so it's time for some cozy snowy path placing while I explain to you all my inspiration behind this Abel Sisters build. So this part of the island is sort of the suburban section of the town. I feel like that sort of makes sense. You know, you have the big urban center up there, and then here is sort of the sprawled suburbs. Sorry, I'm using big words to describe this. Anyway, I also want this area to be very fair-like. I remember as a kid going to all sorts of outdoorsy fairs held in parks or really open grassy areas. Some of them have been more farmer's market-y, some a bit more like expo-y. So that's gonna be the story we're gonna tell here. Able Sisters itself is going to be mostly inspired by a thrift store I went to recently. It was all outdoors, and all the clothes and trinkets were being sold out of trucks. So, of course, we're going to need a big truck. Thank you to my sister for finding and supplying me with this truck. And here I go, throwing in all the clothes. Hmm, while this is fine and all, I really feel like I could add more. So, I took my switch to the couch to create a thrift store sign for this truck. I suck at making custom designs. I didn't really know what I was doing. At some point though, I sort of zoned out. And an hour later, yes, an hour later, this is what I had to show for it. I wish I could explain myself, but I am just as confused as you are. I know that those are paw prints. There was some sort of information on that sign until those messy paw prints covered it up. There's drippy paint everywhere. I know that it looks like a preschooler drew it, but you know what? We're not gonna say it looks bad because I don't know how to do pixel art. We're gonna say it looks bad on purpose because it's kid core and kid core is supposed to be messy. Good save, Emily, good save. The next thing I wanted to incorporate was a little milk and cookie stand. I put the milk in later. At the outdoor thrift store I went to, there was a little coffee stand at the entrance, so I thought that milk and cookies were a good kid core equivalent. I originally had this outdoor table in the middle of the build, but eh, it was looking very reminiscent of the Nook's Cranny speed build. I'll get back to that though, because I had the wonderful idea to put these paint cans right next to the truck. This made it look as though this mess was recently painted by someone who was not me. Quick disclaimer before we continue, the rest of this build was me just grabbing items as I found them and throwing them down, so sorry for the absolute chaos you are about to see. With that being said, I decided that I needed one more truck selling clothes to really make this outdoor thrift store idea sell, so I began to put one here in this awkward space, but then I had the best idea. We can place custom designs on the sides of these trucks, right? Oh yeah. This is gonna be awesome. This is easily the silliest hidden sheep I've ever put in one of my builds, and I absolutely love it. When I went to customize the truck, I also had this little sign customized as well, and then jumped back to the truck to give it a little clothes display too, finally getting rid of this awkward table in the center. Thank you. I stop working on the truck and instead put the milk on the table because we are not recording a video, so we can be as disorganized as we want to. Going back to the truck, I gave this truck stand a cassette player 
and a gyroid, because I can't call build complete without a gyroid. I thought it would be better for him to sit on the floor so he lines up with the table better, but I realized that you just couldn't actually see him. So a quick switcheroo, and now he has a stool, but you still can't see him. Hmm. You know what I think? It's time for a round of Tetris. I picked up the gyroid, moved him over here, put a box with sewing stuff here, had a duck run this close stand, you can actually see his eyes unlike the gyroids, and then put some paint cans in front of this sign too. Whew. Oh my gosh, that was intense. But it was still looking a little empty, so I decided I did want some sort of clothing display in the center, but I instead decided to use boxes and custom designed clothing stands instead. Lastly, Mabel and Sable, like Timmy and Tommy, get a place to put their mode of transportation to work. I love the little snails on Mabel's scooter, so cute. All right, it's time for the big reveal. How does this look from above? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, I love it. It turned out so much better than I ever thought it would. I think the, oh my gosh, the gyroid is gone. What, where did the gyroid go? One moment, please. Okay, it's back. And it's blue now, apparently. Phew, that was almost a crisis. I do really love this one. It might be a new favorite. I feel like there's just something about it that feels unfinished, but I think it's the snow washing everything out. I'm holding a villager plot open right now. But after we hunt, I think we will time travel to spring and I'm sure it'll look fine. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a really awesome time making it. Of course, if you love any of the custom designs I used in this video, I have a Google Doc linked in the description. So if you're looking for something in particular, make sure to go check that out. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video.